so close to victory. Let's go. Wait, what's happening? Dude, it just gave us creator mode. Guys, the glitch gave us creator mode. People who cheat in their speedruns are hilarious because they're terrible at hiding the fact that they cheated. These are the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. This speedrun starts off in a rather unexpected way. I don't know if this is a personal attack on me or they just like to threaten people, but I guess we have to subscribe. And we are greeted by the lovely sound of... I'm not quite sure, a toaster oven? Regardless, this guy's microphone quality is just horrible. But everything looks pretty legit. He's got a timer, you can see the world loading up, everything looks pretty normal here. But as soon as they spawn, a couple things look off here. Number one, they do spawn immediately into a village, which I'll give them that one, that can happen. But they are selecting the fourth slot on their hotbar, which means they probably have already played in this world and just cut it out. Maybe it's a glitch. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. So the speedrunner turns around, they enter a blacksmith house, and they find some pretty reasonable looking items. Uh, some obsidian, some iron, everything here looks pretty normal to me. They do get exactly 10 obsidian, which is pretty lucky, but you know, maybe it's possible. But when they go into the next house and open up the chest, that's when things start to look just a little bit fishy here. There's just a, a little bit more bread and wood than you might imagine would appear in a chest. So the speedrunner spends some time reorganizing their inventory, which is a number one priority when it comes to speedrunning. And hang on a second, I, I, I might be delirious, but I think I just saw some in the distance here. I'm gonna rewind the video. Yeah, I don't know if you see that too, but that looks like a ginormous building with a gold ingot on it. Uh, again, I could just be delirious. Maybe we'll find out later. You may not have noticed what just happened here. For most people, this would go right over their heads. But if you didn't catch it, uh, there was a very slight cut. And for some reason, the speedrunner decided to go into creative mode and then go back into survival mode. He thinks I'm stupid. Uh, I'm not going to let this one get past me, buddy. Regardless, they build their obsidian nether portal, light it. And as soon as they enter the nether, everything looks pretty normal here. They walk around for a bit in the nether, and then they immediately discover a nether fortress. And they also find a very conveniently placed path of netherrack blocks. Good for them. So they jump down onto the path, and the path leads directly to a blaze spawner, which is fantastic news for the speedrunner because they are only 55 seconds into the speedrun, which means they're making world record time right now. Hmm. The speedrunner kills that only blaze that is available to him, and unfortunately does not get a blaze rod. But I want you to listen for a moment to what he says next. If I can just get one blaze rod, I should be fine with how good my luck is. So if you couldn't hear him, the speedrunner said, if I could just get one blaze rod, that'd be fine with how good my luck is, which may or may not be be foreshadowing for what happens in the future of the speedrun. They kill another blaze, unfortunately not getting any loot from that one either, but on the third blaze they do get a blaze rod from it. And they must really believe in themselves because they get that one blaze rod and decide to leave. And before I show you this next part, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie The Truman Show. It's kind of like that. They see a nether portal, but when they walk right past it, they've entered some sort of a uh, Walmart great value overworld. Now, you know, honestly, if I wasn't wearing my contacts right now, if I was squinting my eyes a little bit, this might fool me. Otherwise, it's very clear that they've uh, recreated the overworld. As to why, I have no idea. But they find a block that I'm assuming is supposed to represent the sun. It turns out it is a yellow shulker box full of 64 stacks of gold ingots, which honestly, I have no idea why that would help them right now. But let's just keep on watching and find out what happens. So the speedrunner takes their miraculous loot. They go into their portal and return to the overworld. And I don't know if you remember earlier how I pointed out a giant enormous looking gold ingot in the distance, but that is what the speedrunner returns to. So the speedrunner goes up to the strange and new structure, depositing their gold ingots into it, and in the barrel, they suddenly get ender pearls. I, I honestly don't keep up too much with Minecraft updates, but clearly I've missed out on a handful of them because I don't remember this uh, being in Minecraft. Regardless, the speedrunner crafts their eyes of ender, they throw them up into the air, but when they jump, uh, they fall into a very large chasm, and when they're in the void, they just suddenly appear in the stronghold. I'm not quite sure how this is all happening, but it's very entertaining. So when in the stronghold, it turns out that the portal is completely filled. The likelihood of this happening is extremely low. In addition to that, there's also a random button in the portal room. Uh, so they click it, and I, honestly, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next. That button could do anything. It could create a parallel universe. It could spawn an apple. There's only one way we're going to find out. So at 2 minutes and 40 seconds, 
since the speedrunner has entered the end, and at least this part of the speedrun looks pretty normal. <sighs> Unfortunately though, the speedrunner just wastes like a whole minute shooting arrows at the dragon and missing most of the shots, but when they're destroying the end crystals, they get tossed by the dragon, and right when they're about to do some sort of bucket clutch or ender pearl clutch and save themselves from death, yeah, you can't make this up, uh, there's a to be continued sign on the screen. So this is definitely the first speedrun I've ever seen where it was broken down into two parts, so don't worry, luckily though, I have part two, and we're gonna watch that right now. So before I play this clip, just take a wild guess as to what might happen. Maybe they land on the ground with a water bucket, maybe they do some sort of a hay bale clutch, maybe they throw an ender pearl. Regardless, you are never gonna guess. I'm just gonna play this clip and we can watch it. No, 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 no! Yeah, that's right, you cannot make this up. The speedrunner, I, I guess they found themselves in the back room. The funniest part about this is they very clearly screen recorded this video and forgot to edit out the little YouTube logo on the bottom right of the screen. Suddenly though, the video cuts back to Minecraft. I, I guess the guy found himself out of the back rooms and they're now spawned on the beach with an X marks the spot right in front of them. So they dig down and the X marks the spot finding a lot of random loot in a chest. Very, very convenient. Unusually though, I just realized that the speedrunner forgot to put their timer up, but oh well. So the speedrunner throws their eye of ender and they go running in that direction. Unfortunately though, I, I don't think that they're actually heading to the stronghold. They're heading to something much, much stranger. Much more strange? You're never gonna guess what they find. It is a very oversized nether portal. Casual. So the speedrunner enters the nether portal, entering the nether, and directly in front of them is a very large path. <laughs> And the speedrunner decides to do some parkour on this path. They immediately die, and there is a very subtle cut. You know what, I'll give him one get out of jail free card for this one. It was entertaining. So after successfully getting through the parkour, the speedrunner finds another nether portal. And at this point, I'm wondering if this guy made this video just to waste my time. I have no idea what this is leading to. Well, they get into the overworld, and now they're in front of a house. So the speedrunner enters the house, and they find 63 blaze powder just hanging out in a brewing stand. They take the blouse... They take the blaze powder, return to the nether portal, and back in the nether, they find a chest full of ender pearls. Uh, well, okay, I guess they have ender pearls and blaze powder now, so they craft eyes of ender, go back into a nether portal, which I, I am so confused, this is the most complicated speedrun ever. When they return to their cave, it turns out that the stronghold was there. It's just kind of hanging out at the bottom. So the speedrunner fills the end portal with eyes of ender, and they jump into the portal. Of course, I'm not very surprised when they enter the end, and and there is a very conveniently mined staircase that leads up to the surface level. On top of that, the Ender Dragon also has like five health left. I, I don't know what else is gonna happen in the speedrun. This has been an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, unfortunately though, there's no other twists and turns in this speedrun. They kill the dragon and beat the game. I have no idea what time they got because when we reached part two, they just never used a timer again. That was very, very strange. This next speedrun, there is a lot to unpack here. I'm gonna have to warn you, the audio quality and the video quality is as if this guy recorded his video with a toaster oven. On top of that, I don't know why the sky looks like space. We also have the courtesy of having subtitles directly on the screen. They said they just spawned into the game, but they already have a ton of items in their hotbar. So with all that in mind, this is gonna be a little wacky, I'm sure. So I know it's gonna be difficult to tell because of the quality, but they actually enter the house in front of them, opening the chest in front of them, and it has tons of diamonds in it. And if you couldn't tell that they were surprised, the text on the screen reads, whoa, no way. They pick up their diamonds, and again, I know the quality is bad, I know it looks like a few pixels on the screen, but if you can't tell, directly in front of them is an end portal. And the speedrunner, they're very surprised, based on the text on the screen, saying, oh, what? So they jump into the portal, which teleports them to, I, I think this is the end, and there is a red-looking bean in front of them. And you know what, I just realized I probably should have put a warning out to the headphone users out there. Uh, the audio is, is extremely loud. So I guess somehow this speedrunner teleported into the Among Us dimension. I'll give him 10 points for creativity. So before the imposter is about to kill them, they spawn a bunch of guardians. Thank you. 
The guardian angel saved us. Pressing a button to call an emergency meeting, and I guess they eject the imposter. <laughs> then the video just immediately cuts to the Minecraft credit screen. So I guess they beat the game, and this was definitely the most unique speedrun I've ever seen. Okay, so this speedrun, there's some stuff cut out of it, which is very concerning. As soon as I play it, you're gonna know what I'm saying. They use a funky little Windows Movie Maker transition, but it is very concerning that they are deleting the entire section that encompasses world creation, which leads me to believe this speedrun might be just a little fishy. The speedrunner spawns into their world and everything looks seemingly normal. The only thing I can comment on here is that they're selecting the second slot in their hotbar. I don't know what it is, but it seems like every fake Minecraft speedrun, the speedrunners always forget to just shift the selector to the first slot. It really is not that difficult. Such a rookie mistake. Anyways, the speedrunner approaches this tree and begins breaking the wood. So they break down the tree, collect the wood, but there is a very sudden cut. Then the speedrunner claims that they have to turn back and collect some of the wood that they forgot. Okay guys, before we craft wood and tools, I think I'm just gonna grab the wood that I left behind. But when they turn around, there is a very large stack of wooden planks. Which, come on dude, that's not even how the wood would drop. It should be oak logs, not planks. And after picking up an enormous amount of wooden planks, uh, I, I don't know what happened. I think my computer broke. No, 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 my computer did not break. Uh, the speedrunner just cut out a big chunk of the video. And when the video comes back, they have wooden tools. I'm so confused. I don't understand why they're cutting all the stuff out. So the speedrunner goes to some stone and they start mining it for cobblestone tools. And again, there is another cut and the speedrunner suddenly has stone tools. Genuinely, this, this is just a lot to keep track of. There are so many cuts. It kind of defeats the purpose of a speedrun. Anyways, I'm just going to keep on watching. I'm intrigued. So the speedrunner continues exploring the world and they find a village. But when they're in the village, you, you might not catch this. But on the left side of the screen, it very clearly says set on game mode to survival. Now, most people would think I'm a big dum-dum and I wouldn't notice this, but uh, Buddy's not gonna pull a fast one on me. Well, the speedrunner hits an iron golem, then pulls some 360 no-scopes on him, getting five iron ingots, which I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't think that's possible. It seems like a lot more than you would usually get from an iron golem. Then they go into a villager house and open up a chest. And you know, it seems pretty normal, you know, some dirt, a potato, diamond tools. Now to the naked eye, this looks pretty normal. But if you get out your detective's inspection glass, you can see that this speedrunner is very clearly cheating. Very suddenly, the video cuts to another segment where there is a chest in the middle of nowhere that is highlighted. For what reason, I do not know. <laughs> this next part is just so goofy. Uh, they put all of their items into the chest. Then there is another Windows Movie Maker-esque effect on the screen. And all of a sudden, all of their gear is enchanted. That's plus 10 points for creativity. Anyways, the speedrunner continues exploring, and they are making great time at just a minute and 30 seconds. They locate a lava pool, and what in the world is that next to it? Yep, that is in fact a stone tower with a sign that says, take this, and it is a water bucket. So the speedrunner takes advantage of their extreme luck, using the water bucket to build an obsidian nether pool. Unfortunately, they do not have flint and steel, but that's where this innocent sheep comes into play. The speedrunner strikes the sheep, and out of nowhere, it, it drops flint and steel. No abrupt cuts whatsoever. So the nether portal is lit now, and the speedrunner enters the nether, spawning right in front of a nether fortress. But wait a second, why are they walking away from it? And what in the world is that? Yep, you are reading that right. That is the dream stick. I don't want to know what that means. After one more Windows Movie Maker transition, the speedrunner finds the blaze spawner. And after a little bata swing with the blazes, using the trusty dream stick, the speedrunner gets um, a variety of blaze rods. I honestly don't know if that'll be enough for him. And if there wasn't enough Windows Movie Maker transitions in your life, there's one more for the road. With the speedrunner jumping down into a hole in the nether fortress, falling into what the speedrunner is calling the Golden Lounge. Oh, oh, geez, this is so ridiculous. So they collect their gold from the Golden Lounge, building back up into the nether fortress. Anyways, the piglin locates a bat. <laughs> the piglin, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the speedrunner locates a bastion, and in front of them is a piglin. They throw their gold ingots to the piglin, and the piglin throws stacks of eyes of ender at the speedrunner. If at any point during the speedrun, you were unsure whether this was real or fake, 
Unfortunately, this is the hard truth. The speedrunner exposes himself by showing the chat log in their Minecraft, where their friend Dean But Better, who is clearly the piglin, types, can you make it at least somewhat realistic? In a response, the speedrunner says, STFU or you're not getting paid. What a shame. I cannot believe this. Well, now we know for sure that this speedrun's fake. Anyways, the speedrunner returns to their nether portal, coming back to the overworld, and while exploring and trying to locate the stronghold, it's very clear that the speedrunner catches sight of something far in the distance. What is that, a bird? Nope, it's not a bird. It is Notch, the creator of Minecraft, and he gives the speedrunner full netherite armor. Wow, that is almost as lucky as my speedrun. Pretty crazy. The speedrunner throws more eyes of ender, trying to locate the stronghold, but I'm warning you, there is a jump scare. I'm not sure why, but the speedrunner edited a jump scare into their speedrun. Okay, guys, so truly terrifying. So they dig down, finding the stronghold, locating the end portal room. The speedrunner fills the end portal with eyes of ender, and they enter the end. And everything looks normal here, except for the fact that I'm not even kidding, I didn't edit this in the video. The speedrunner edited their own little dubstep montage. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll the clip here. Let's get this world record once and for all. All right, all right, that's that's enough of that. It's not very surprising to find out that the speedrunner, very close to beating the game, they die. Yeah, real shocker there. Regardless, the timer's still going, and they're still making fantastic time. So the speedrunner decides to respawn, and wait a second, what are they doing here? They break a bunch of dirt blocks, and they build a huge tower up into the sky. The speedrunner jumps off of their dirt tower, jumping into a one-by-one -one end portal, and again, coming back with those crazy Windows Movie Maker effects, they suddenly teleport into the end again. <laughs> and I gotta say, that was the most impressive water bucket clutch I've ever seen in my entire life. Dream would not have been able to pull that one off. Anyways, the speedrunner tries to kill the ender dragon with very little health, but he is just missing every single shot. And that's when something else really strange happens. Come on guys, we're so close to victory. Let's go, wait, what's happening? What? Guys, someone else is controlling my game, what is going on? And yeah, that's right, the screen glitches, they go into creative mode, and their timer starts going backwards in time. And just like that, the speedrunner kills the ender dragon, beating Minecraft in a world record 0.67 seconds. Wow, I have so much to learn. Fantastic speedrun. Fantastic. Hey, really quickly, it's late at night. That's why I'm quiet right now. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos. I made a few off-topic videos on my channel recently, and your support has been fantastic. So if you want to watch a video of me poking fun at Dream or playing that hilarious new game, Deadly Company, go on my channel and check it out. I really appreciate you guys. That's all.